Hi, everybody out there suffering from eczema. I wanted to make this video to help you, uh, especially if you have a child, a young child that has it. I know I've been there, um, still there, dealing with it with my two-year-old. He's had it since, I mean, as long as I can remember. Um, I want to say we start, started noticing little red dry patches at around like three months, and he would get them on the inside of his arm and behind his knees that's where they would show up the most but so I just wanted to give you guys um, some tips on what has worked for us so you can kind of you know try them see what works and just so you know you know always talk to your doctor first your dermatologist I have consulted a few doctors and a couple dermatologists about this so I've just kind of gathered everything from them and done a lot of research and so this is everything that I know and the first thing I want to start off with is something that a lot of people don't know about so I'm gonna throw that one out there first for you I actually came to my my son's he's two now I came to my son's pediatrician um, about a month and a half ago and I was like hey what about this and he was like you know what I never thought of that but you know what you're talking about because that could definitely work and he did a little research on it and he was like yeah let's do this so the first thing I'm going to suggest is pharmaceutical grade honey and this stuff has really great medicinal properties honey is great now you cannot give honey to a kid that's a year or under so this isn't going to work for babies but how it works is honey pharmaceutical grade honey you have to get this from your pharmacy is supposed to work in helping eczema i really don't know how i guess it's just whatever's in the honey however these bees make it but um you know do, you can do a little research about it online and my doctor thought it was a really good idea so what he did is you have to get a compounding pharmacy to do it and they will mix um, one to one to one parts of Maduka honey olive oil and beeswax and I'm not you know to be honest with you I don't know if it's something you're gonna put on the skin or eat but I think both ways could definitely um, work now to be honest with you I never went and got it compounded and followed through with it because it just the timing kind of went by the wayside and like the pharmacy had to order everything and I don't even know if everything even came in and by that time my son's eczema got better and it just hasn't been a problem so and I know that kind of stuff um doesn't last very long those kind of prescriptions so um maybe if he gets a flare-up again I'll go back and try it but definitely bring that one up to your dermatologist or your pediatrician or your doctor about pharmaceutical grade honey and see what they think about getting a compound pharmacy to put that together for you um, for sure let's see the other thing I have I found this company online it's called um, hazel aid and they have these hazel aid necklaces and this is what it looks like this little necklace right here and it's um, tree bark and these are like uh, some of them come with little crystals or precious semi precious stones that have different sort of energy properties to them but basically the science behind it is this particular bark from this tree um, really absorbs the acidity that's in your body and so it's supposed to help with things like eczema um, it can help with acne it can help with migraines it's supposed to help with a lot of stuff and so I was looking on their website and they make them especially for little little kids because this one you can see is like super tiny the, and it's a necklace and they use it for little kids or even adults can get them and apparently you know with 24 hours of wearing this bad boy 
it's supposed you're supposed to see a clear up in the eczema. Well, I was like, okay, you know, I'll give it a, I'll give it a try because we have tried so much, and I let my son wear it, and for 24 hours, and I'm not even gonna lie. The next day, I saw a noticeable difference in his little breakouts. It, they had shrunken and gotten less um, red and flared up. So, you know, hey, give it a try. I don't think it was a coincidence or the power of suggestion because he's only two, so he couldn't really like will himself better knowing that this was on him. But it happened to work for us and they don't last very long. This one only lasted about a month and then it started to just like the wood and everything started to fade. They say to wear it though in the shower because, or the tub, because this um, steam helps the absorbing qualities of this particular material. So give it a try. I'll link the website address below so you can see if you know it's something you want to try so these are the hazel aid necklaces for little little kids and for adults the other thing um desitin now i was told to if your kid has you know really really aggravated red inflamed eczema spots um not just all over, because I know sometimes it's just all over the body. That's I've been there with my son before where he was just covered in head to toe with this crazy rash. But a lot of the times it's just um, big, just inflamed red patches. And the doctor suggested to us get something like desitin. And before you put them in the tub, take some desitin, petroleum jelly, and cover the spot with it so that there's a barrier between the eczema and the water because bath time, shower time, getting in the water is very drying to the skin and this prevents the water from drying out um, the patches. And so you definitely want to keep, keep it moisturized and, um, and you don't want it to dry it out and make it even more irritated. Another um, suggestion I got that I haven't tried because I just haven't been able to find it is um, lavender and geranium essential oils. And this tip I actually got from um, um, on Twitter at Three Moms Tips, and I'll link them below too on Twitter. They come up with like a bunch of tips, you know, for moms who are having issues or have questions. And this was one that they suggested to me. Um, now I'm going to tell you, when, anytime you're dealing with essential oils, do not apply it directly to the skin. You're always going to put essential oils in, in something else to kind of uh, create like a buffer between your skin and the essential oils because putting it straight essential oils on your skin will burn so Mix it in like a lotion or something before you apply it, but with the lavender and geranium oil, you know um, mix it in with a lotion and Apply it to your eczema and that's supposed to help from what um, was suggested to me like I said I haven't used it just because I haven't been able to find that you just can't like go to the to the grocery store or the drugstore and just get essential oils um, because you have to make sure that they're a certain quality and grade um, more than likely if you live in a smaller town you're gonna probably have to just order it online so but give that one a try um, let's see the next is a vino bath wash. Now you have to get, there's a lot of bath washes out there, um, but you have to get one that does not lather because the suds, the soap is very drying. You want something that's more of a lotion and to use that, Aveeno has a good one. Also, um, I have this stuff right here. Aveeno Baby Eczema Therapy. 
you can buy this at uh, the drugstore, Walmart, the grocery store, and you get a pack like that and you put it in your bath water. Um, you're supposed to soak for 15 to 30 minutes and it's supposed to help relieve the eczema and it says it works for poison ivy and rashes as well. Um, this, you know, was okay, but let me see if I can find the ingredients. Oh, calcium silicate lorith 4 are an active ingredient. So this isn't completely 100% natural. Um, if you can take the time to go to the grocery store, get a big old thing of oatmeal, um, organic oatmeal if you can, and grind it up and use that, that's better. Um, the less chemicals, pesticides, anything like that, the better. It's just as good, if not better, because it's natural. It's gonna um, be very, very soothing for the skin. I have done that with my son, but I tried both this and I'm um, just grinding up oatmeal at home and it definitely has helped. I will let you know though, <laughs> the oatmeal can get um, kind of messy and clog your tub. So just, just know that you have to uh, do a bit of a cleanup if you're gonna grind up the oatmeal yourself. But oatmeal baths have definitely helped soothe his eczema for sure. Another thing to try is the Dreft laundry detergent. You see it um, a lot. They say to use for washing newborns clothes and blankets. So you can definitely try that. Um, or the All Free and Clear is what I use. And it just help so that he doesn't have all those um, irritating fragrances and um, really, really harmful chemicals from regular cheap laundry detergent that he's sleeping on or that's in his clothes and rubbing on his skin and making things worse. So definitely try substituting your laundry detergent with something a lot more gentle. Um, I've also been told their diet has a lot to do with it. Apparently, no dairy. Um, we try to do that. I don't, particularly for my son, um, it hasn't mattered. It's not a food allergy. In fact, I don't really think it's an allergy, period. And I know you can get your kid tested at a certain age um, to see what kind of allergies they have, but we haven't done that. But honestly, I've tried eliminating dairy and have let him have dairy, and it's not a dairy thing. But for some people, um, I've been told that it can definitely help eliminating dairy. So you can definitely um, give that one a try. Let's see. Another thing I have, um, lotion. I have been, oh, I've been using this. I've used it all. It's the seventh generation. Um, and I like their products. They're um, very gentle hypoallergenic, no parabens, no synthetic fragrances, gluten-free. Um, they're USDA certified bio-based, 95%. They don't have a ton of stuff in here that I can't pronounce, so I really like this, um, and it's made in Canada. So that's what it looks like. I got this from like Harris Teeter. And I just saw recently that Neutrogena came out with their own eczema-based um, lotion that you can get over the counter. So definitely try those because they're going to be more gentle. They're going to have less chemicals in it, um, no fragrances, hypoallergenic. Definitely read the ingredients. If there's a whole lot of junk on here that you don't know how to pronounce, then don't get it. Try to um to definitely get the most gentle lotion as possible. But this is what we've been using on his skin and it's worked fine. Let's see. Now, I will tell you, those were basically my 
over the counter can kind of you know just get them anywhere products except for the medical uh, or the pharmaceutical grade honey that you have to see your doctor for and these other two I'm going to talk about you have to have a prescription for and really these are the only two things that instantly um, made my son's eczema go away and clear up instantly but they are a prescription so I know a lot of people you know don't want to be bothered with prescriptions but I'm just telling you what works for us first the doctor um, his dermatologist put him on a daily dose of Singulair because apparently eczema and um, allergies go like hand in hand and apparently asthma too but my son doesn't have asthma but that's just what the doctor said so he and I'm kind of weird about giving my kid a prescription every day I just don't think it's it's really necessary so we or I just kind of give it to him during the winter months when his eczema gets really bad and if we start see it to start flare up then we start giving him the singular but it is not something I give him every day just because that's my personal preference my dermatologist said she's been giving it to her son who suffers from eczema since he was nine months old and he's nine years old so I mean that's what she's been doing but not me I just kind of give it to him um, whenever it looks like his eczema is flaring up and that's usually in the winter time so singular talk to your doctor about singular also um, steroid lotion that stuff um, definitely worked well and um, I don't know what the um, the name of it was but it's just like a certain percentage of steroid cream and we would just put it on his patches and that definitely definitely helped a lot also prescription oral steroid that was like the miracle drug um, you know because steroids you know they work pretty well um, and we would give it to him orally and it would just clear up the eczema so quickly so well however I will warn you there is such thing as roid rage even in a one-year-old baby it was very apparent when he would take this that he would get in these little roid rage fits and this lasted for a, quite a few months after he stopped taking the steroids the prescription steroids and I've actually heard that from a couple other parents who have done the same thing they notice a bit of roid rage in their kids so just be kind of um, wary of that but I'll tell you what my son was covered in head to toe with this eczema stuff and so I just wanted him to be better and for go, to go away so we went the route with the steroids but that was only when it was just severe severe and they worked well very well and the other stuff I mentioned definitely helps um, it's not gonna of course it's not gonna work as quickly as the prescription stuff but it does um, help calm it down and helps it heal faster so um, from what I've been told though about eczema there's no cure um, there's really no way to get rid of it forever um, a lot of kids grow out of it though so that's good I'm hoping my son will um, and then some people just live with it forever um, it tends to flare up more in the winter and it's also linked to like asthma and allergies like they kind of all come together if you have one you might have the other sort of thing and also I've been told by the doctor that it's genetic which is funny because nobody in my family has it or my husband's and my other kid doesn't have it I don't have it my husband doesn't have it so I don't I don't know I'm hoping it's just like my kid got it and he'll get over it soon <laughs> because none of us have this like eczema genetic gene I don't know but I've been told it's genetic so um, that's all really I have to say about um, what I recommend and what has worked for, for my son um, he's been dealing with it like I said for two years now so 
Um, hoping that as he gets older, it gets better. It does get worse in the winter for sure. Um, and please, 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 if you're suffering from eczema or your kid is and you've tried other things, um, definitely comment below and let me know because I am always open to hearing, you know, what works for other parents because, you know, it's just an ongoing, ongoing battle and you just want your kid not to be in pain or irritated or, you know, uncomfortable with it. So let me know, please, what you have used and what has worked for you. I hope that, you know, I provided you with more information or something that you didn't know that you could try. Let me know how it works if you um, try any of my suggestions. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.